Uh, thanks for stopping by the Zero booth here. Uh, 2014 is a real exciting year for the company. I don't know how many of you have been following us, but we're the world's leader in electric motorcycle development and production. Uh, we built more bikes, sold more bikes around the world than any other manufacturer to this point. We're really excited about what we have here to show you today. Back last month in uh, November, we launched the line at ICMA officially, and this is the North American debut of the line. I've got a couple of people I'd like to introduce really quickly here uh, related to Zero. The first gentleman is our CTO, uh, and the gentleman responsible for to creating these fine bikes, Abe Askenazi. Abe? Abe's going to be walking you through some of the finer points of the uh, new features and uh, technical features and improvements on the bikes. We've also got TJ from our media relations department here with us. And also with us is our agency-driven PR, uh, who have all of the press kits, USBs, and everything else you need. Tiffany's back over here, Mike Hoddell. Everyone's back, the whole team's back here, so make sure you get a press kit from us and a USB after this is over. The most important news we have to share with you this year is that the, uh, we refined the model line for zero. We really focused on the models that had the most interest from the consumer. And we've added one new surprise this year that we're really excited about. And that new surprise is this model right here, the Zero SR. This bike has incredible tech, uh, performance specifications, um, 67 horsepower and 106 foot-pounds of torque, which is just phenomenal. And as you all know, in an electric motor, it's all at the first revolution, first RPM. This bike is extremely fun to ride, 0 to 60 in a little under 3.3 seconds and is just a hoop to ride. We also have the, the world's longest range product with our new uh, uh, power tank option that we offer this year. For 2014 and all the Zero S and DS products, a power tank option is available that will extend the range up to 171 miles of range in the city. It's quite phenomenal. All we're right around 100 on the freeway at freeway speeds, which is quite phenomenal in terms of range. So we really packed a lot of nuts, a, 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 a few very major milestones this year with the product line. Starting with the Zero SR here, going through with the Zero FX over to my left here, or our on and off road hooligan bike, inner city hooligan bike. This bike is absolutely phenomenal to ride. It's impossible to keep the front wheel on the ground in this thing. It is absolutely a rocket ship and a lot of fun to ride. Uh, the staple of our line has been our Zero S and DS models uh, positioned over here on my left and on my right. The DS is a traditional dual sport bike. It's got great on and off road capabilities as well, but more of, uh, for adventure riding and commuting uh, in, or, in and around the city commuting. The S is our Street Fighter model and is absolutely one of the funnest uh, naked style bikes or standard style bikes on the market to ride. Again, great performance and great range values with all of the bikes. Some other big news from Zero this year is we've extended the warranty on our batteries and up to uh, five years and 100,000 miles on the uh, S and DS models, which is uh, the, one of the things that we hear from consumers that are quite concerned about is how long will the battery last. Actually, our batteries are last up to 300,000 miles, but we have a warranty for the first 100,000 miles, which is uh, industry leading uh, warranty as far as that goes. We're starting production on the bikes this week as we speak and uh, we expect to have them in dealerships starting in early January. Uh, we've uh, adopted the three-pong strategy in terms of our approach to the marketplace. Uh, oh, I'd like to introduce Matt Bentley, our industrial designer, the person responsible for all of the new bikes. And, uh, you're welcome to chat with each, any of these gentlemen after the press conference is over or come back later. Um, the, uh, our, we have a three-pong strategy at Zero built around the consumer, fleet, and our powertrain development. So in the consumer market, we're the clear leaders there uh, with the most bikes sold to date, and uh, we have uh, aggressive plans for continued growth in 2014. Fleet is an area that's extremely interesting to Zero. We've already had tremendous success there with the police markets. Uh, we have a substantial relationships with Hong Kong, Columbia now, uh, their retired the police department in Bogota switched over to electric bikes. There's 129 zeros down there. We've had a team down there this last two weeks working with them. These guys just love the bikes. LAPD is currently vetting the product, as are a number of other agencies. We have them spread out throughout the United States, university campuses, uh, airport security, and a lot of those areas, and there's a 
tremendous, we see a tremendous growth area for zero to the extent that we actually have a full police model as a standard offering within our product line for 2014, which is kind of new. So uh, it, uh, that, that's pretty much it for as far as the, the improvements and the uh, uh, other issues. I'd like to invite Abe to come up and talk a little bit about some of the technical features on the box. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so as Scott mentioned, you know, our focus for this year was really an evolution of the, uh, the revolutionary powertrain that we introduced uh, in 2013. So for 2013, uh, for those that, that remember what that was like for us, it was a huge step. We introduced a new battery architecture, a new proprietary motor architecture. Uh, so the entire powertrain of the vehicle was brand new. And it's, it's such a strong platform, and it's, it's a platform that we're going to grow with. Uh, for some years to come, so now it's it's time to really pay attention to all the details. So we've been able to, as you look at the bikes now, we've been able to uh, focus the team a lot more on on uh, the interface to the riders. You'll you'll notice a brand new dash. The dash inside, you know, a beautiful uh, component that was designed by us, uh, produced for us, uh, and it incorporates a lot of the features that you might have seen on the application, the uh, smartphone app that we introduced last year. For those that have seen, have played with that, you may recall that it's got a uh, custom dash feature where you can select different parameters uh, of the vehicle's performance to display while you're riding. Uh, the feedback that we received from, from riders is that they really enjoy a lot of those features. So some of those features that, that, have, that have been, uh, uh, that have had the most uh, appeal to our, to our consumers have been incorporated into the new dash. Uh, this, this smartphone app has also evolved, has also been refined, but again, now we have a dash that, that has some of those features built in. Uh, around the dash, you'll see that the, there's the, the bodywork pieces, uh, even the metal pieces, the new triple clamp, the new uh, larger fork legs, everything around the you know, rider interface has been improved for, uh, you know, for the rider's enjoyment to, to add more value to the vehicle. Uh, as Scott mentioned, uh, the SR is our, is our new uh, motorcycle, and the feature that's uh, displayed on this bike specifically is the power tank, which is available for the S, DS, SR uh, models, also for the police, that uh, it, it gives you the ability to add a module, a 2.8 kilowatt hour module, on top of the uh, uh, capacity that, that's built into the vehicle from the factory. So a rider can, you know, can buy an 11.4 uh, kilowatt hour motorcycle or an 8.5, and either at the time of, sa of sale or later, have the dealer install this extra capacity for, uh, for more range. So again, our focus has been really evolving that powertrain um, that, that we deployed for 2013, uh, allowing more range, uh, certainly more power, a lot more power, more speed. The SR does 102 miles an hour, so we, we've broken the ton, and that's, that's a lot of fun. Um, and, and basically just, you know, really focusing on the rider experience. The, the thing that sells these vehicles, the, the thing that, that really makes mix magic here is, is the rider experience in terms of the simplicity of the electric motorcycle. No noise, no heat, no, no emissions. Uh, no shifting, no clutching. It's, it's this magic carpet ride, right? It's, it's just this beautiful thing that when you get on this thing, you feel like you're being propelled by some magical force, right? And it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty, it's pretty addictive, right? So what we've done is basically enhance that. Sophisticated simplicity is a guiding principle at zero, and we've been really focused this year on, on developing uh, you know, more and more value in terms of, of, uh, of, of those features. So, um, with that, I'll pass it back to Scott. Thank you. Thanks, Abe. Well, you can see that Abe hasn't been uh, sleeping much here the last year. He's been, him and the team have been hard at work. But he failed to mention, I uh, need to mention, is we've done all this at a lower price point. We've also lowered the prices this year on our top of the line bikes by around $1,000 a model. Starting at $14,995 for our S and DS packages and $16,995 for the uh, Zero SR. So prices have come down uh, quite a bit and uh, value, performance, and quality has gone way up. Uh, thank you very much for attending the press conference. As I said, we have uh, press kits, USBs to hand out, uh, all the information, uh, and uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them.